All right, Janae, back in the fight sphere. Uh, how excited are you to, to be here? And uh, you finally have the Leah McCourt matchup in front of you. Yeah, exactly. Finally here. And uh, I'm just grateful to be able to travel again and do all these crazy things during the time that we're in. And I'm um, back doing exactly what I love to do and to finally get in the matchup that we organized so long ago. Yeah, for sure. And we'll get into that in a second. But back home, I mean, is it still the same process? Like, is this still a very big venture for you where you have to go, when you go back, you have to spend the two-week quarantine? Is that still a whole part of the whole thing? Yeah, unfortunately, probably until like about July. So I just missed like that cutoff. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, two weeks on my way back. The good thing is that with the vaccine and everything rolling out, things over here are starting to settle down. So I get to utilize my time over here rather than coming in, dipping out, and then doing two weeks. I'm actually getting something out of it um, and being able to travel where everyone else can't. I mean, that's a luxury in itself. For sure, yeah, good stuff. The world's opening back up, and uh, but you are here and you do have Leah McCord in front of you, like I just said. Um, she was in here a little while ago and she said that she's been asking Bellator for this matchup for quite some time. Uh, yeah. have you, is, the, is the feeling mutual? Is this a fight that you've wanted as well? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it was, I'm trying to figure it out. I think it was maybe like three years ago when she originally called me out and that we're finally coming to fruition. So it's something that from the get-go I agreed to and I, I thought it was a great matchup as well. So, you know, we've both been on the same playing field. It was just like, yeah, I guess the situation and, and everything that's been happening at the moment, her injuries and everything else, it's all sort of like the things that are out of our control, but finally we're here and we both get to do exactly what we want to do and fight each other. And you guys were matched up uh, once before and it didn't come together, obviously. But uh, during that time, did you have like a lot of time to study her as an opponent and kind of break her down a little bit? Yeah, I guess like I had to really, even though I kind of knew in the back of my mind it probably wouldn't go through um, just because that was when all the COVID stuff was starting, I really had to obviously keep taking it seriously. So we already had started, um, yeah, watching tape and, and, and making our game plan or our ideas. It was almost like once I got to the real camp, like the real solid six weeks, I didn't even watch tape. I was like, you know what, like, we know what's going to happen. Or like, in a sense, we, we have a great idea of everything we've prepared for so long. I had a few different dates as well when we finally got stuck with this one. And it's um it's solid now. So yeah, all being prepared for a little while now. And it's funny too, because when the rankings dropped, you guys ended up right next to each other. Uh, were you, did you like the rankings? Did you like, did you kind of like having that game plan now? Because I feel like your division in particular kind of it's it's great for because yeah. it's like a round robin you know somebody yes. beat somebody but they lost to someone else so That's what I keep saying. did you like it as a fighter yeah 100 yeah. percent. i've been saying the exact same thing it's like we've i've lost to this person but they've beaten this person that i've beaten and it's all a bit confusing so i can imagine how difficult it would have been to come up with that top 10 um and so i guess we can just not use it as a, like solid right now because it's more as a foundation we can build off it um it's a great starting point i'm happy with where i'm at and i guess i'm happy with where Leah's at and this kind of just solidifies my position or moves me up in um in a, with a win under my belt i guess so it's sort of just like one of those things we can just get, keep building off it makes a little bit more sense now it sets us a little bit more of a um path that that makes like sense contender wise and stuff like that towards the title so yeah we can just keep building off it and for right now i'm really happy where i'm at yeah talk about the implications of this fight you know like you said five anytime five and or anytime six and seven fight each other you know there's there's a big matchup on the other side do you feel like this this will put you into a situation maybe like a number one contender fight if you go out there and win yeah i mean i always like i've been saying it i'm happy with wherever it puts me like since this matchup was something that we wanted before the rankings were even a possibility um it's sort of more like it's just going to solidify my spot if it moves me up that's great if it puts me in the top five that's great whatever it happens like it it's just gonna be something that i'm just gonna take on my chin it's one of those divisions that can change kind of at any moment i mean chris is really going through those top five um quite quickly so you can sort of expect that the title opportunity is coming around the corner at any minute so yeah wherever it puts me I'm happy for now all my focus is on this fight and then we'll move on and and cross that bridge when we get to it wherever it leaves me yeah and fighting on the same card as the uh, the title fight in your division I mean when you got booked for this one did that kind of cross your mind too like you know huh, if something in, in this day and age cancellations happen all the time so I could be the one to kind of sneak in there. Yeah, funnily enough, it actually didn't cross my mind until like a week ago. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, um, one of the interviewers asked me and I was like, true, yeah. um, that is a good point. And it was sort of like, I mean, it was a main motivator when it first got announced. There was a few other dates we had where this wasn't our main event, of course. We had different main events, but now that it's the featherweight belt on the line, um, looking towards that, that's something that I'm obviously going to keep my eye on. And it's great to kind of be able to share the card and, and be present in real time, be able to see where it goes. Um, and of course, I mean, pullouts and stuff, we'll just sort of cross those bridges when we get to them, um, if the opportunities arise. And who do you think wins that one? I know Chris is a heavy favorite. It's hard to pick against her, but 
Um, yeah. Kind of break down the main event a little bit for me from your perspective. Yeah, anything can happen, of course. It's mixed martial arts, but um, but I definitely am favoring Chris a little bit um, based off the first outing. Um, I mean, it's a different time now. Leslie was fighting at Bantam predominantly when that first outing happened, so um, it'll be interesting to see the difference. I definitely think she'll bring a much um, better version of herself this fight, but um, I can still kind of see Chris coming away with the title. All right, break down your fight for me. How do you think it goes down on Friday? Yeah, second round TKO by me, of course. Um, I'm ex really excited. I think it'll be a great scrap either way. I think um, we'll both get to show a lot of our repertoire and our, our, our weapons in a sense, so that'll be really exciting. But for me, I think my striking will get me over the line for sure.